Okay, I think I'm recording here. I'm going to get to one of the... There's a few uh, Japanese, Japanimation anime games that aren't um, available in physical form for the... Um, for... what do you call this thing? The Wii U. And um, one of the... Um, one of the games is this one, Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage 2. So, um, just go ahead and, uh, I'm just going to play for the first, um, level or something. This is for Vampire Mike, for Sega CD Universe, and anyone else who's, uh, interested here, I hope I don't get flagged or claimed for copyright or whatever it is and I, I'm doing my best here to go ahead and um, you can read the subtitles while I talk I know there's a One Piece game that's also in the same boat as uh, this game and it's, you know I don't know why these were never made physical and then there's the really weird release by Namco of Tank 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 and I downloaded the free version of Tank 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 and to this day I have never ever been willing to pay for to get the game started so I don't know I do remember I played Tank 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 once through and I don't know if it's uh, it's certainly not worth it the um, I mean if we're, we're talking about good games on on the Wii U while this intro plays you know it definitely um, if you're into sports NBA 2K13 Madden 13 FIFA 13 you see the problem there they're all they're all 2012 releases and then um, there's uh, there's two bat three Batman games, but two are really good, and one's just a I don't know a game a 3DS. I keep calling it 3DS Game Boy, a 3DS re-release. Um, there's Ducktales, I believe that's a semi indie title or whatever you want to call it that came out physically. Uh, Tekken Tag Tournament Two, and uh, that's a really good one. Um, I don't know, Mass Effect, Assassin's Creed, all that stuff I found, I find boring. I really do. Um, you know, um, I've only played through Assassin's Creed 4. It's not a bad game, but it is boring by my standards. 3, never got past the intro. You know, to game developers out there, this is what I would do if I was a game developer. Let me, let me cut through it. Um, when I was at Company X... Due to NDAs, I'm not going to tell you which company. But when I was at Company X, I had never had a problem uh, allowing the users to press escape on my adventure games and go ahead and go to the very next scene. Now, I wasn't the only one on those games, so saying that they're my games is a little bit of a misnomer because I was not, not I was not a or anything like that. I was more of a, <laughs> a glorified QA. Um, Zombie U, stuff like that. So there are good games on Wii U, and to me, this is one of them. Um, if you like Hyrule Warriors or Dynasty Warriors or any of its sub-branches or whatever, this uses the exact same engine. Uh, again, engine kind of being the wrong word, but I don't. we don't have a better word right now. Software Kit is probably it, or, or Development Tools. Now, I'm not going to play as good as I played the other day, which if you saw that other save, yeah, that was me. Um, but uh, I do like this game. And um, let's see, how do uh No, that's not it. Let's see here. No, that's not it either. Uh, <laughs> okay, that's... That's definitely not it. No, and that... Oh, that's it. I think. Yeah, that's it. Right there. And then all their bodies, I do believe, explode. Yeah, okay, yeah, th that was it. Um, uh, specifically to uh, Sega CD Universe Vampire Mike. I'm just going to call him Vampire Mike. But his YouTube channel is Sega CD Universe. Um, this, to me, is like... Um, okay, I'm not going to say it's like Snatcher as in the style of game, but this is like Snatcher on Sega CD. It's below the radar. 
And only um, American otaku will totally dig it. And uh, I, I do enjoy uh, this game. Now, the save that um, you might have seen at the beginning, that was a new save. I don't know what happened to my old save. Um, I think I let Dark Gage play or something a long time ago. I don't know if he remembers. He doesn't, he doesn't remember two minutes ago. Um, and, uh, I just feel like doing a super move. For no reason. <laughs> and voila. So I, I do I do enjoy this game for what it is. And I, I definitely Oh that's cool. He did double dragon jump kick there. It's definitely cool in uh, my opinion and it's worth owning. Now I believe this is also available if you want to just support the game. I believe it's available on um, quite possibly PS3 uh, Xbox 360, maybe even, um, maybe even PS4? I don't know. Uh, I would have to look. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run over here. He's going to go into there. See, I've seen this already. And then I guess I bust those up and fight more, uh, Mad Max Warriors. I, I always say they're not from Mad... This, um, this came out after Mad Max, but it's totally inspired by it. There's also bad live-action movie, according to Nintendo Wizard 22, and I did that in the wrong place. Congratulations to me. Just open the damn thing. Thank you very much. Give me... What? I, I, I can't take bread? Okay, here we go. <laughs> um, according to Nintendo Wizard 22, in an old, old, old email, um, he told me there's a live-action version, I think, with, uh, Malcolm McDowell. I don't, I don't actually know. Um, I'm aware of the movie. I had to just I even I even have it on VHS, but I don't remember Malcolm McDowell in it. But then, um, you know, jokingly, I don't I don't remember Breakfast. So, um, there's I feel there's nothing wrong with uh, what this game is, but it should have had. Now it could have had a physical. Um, release maybe in limited qualities, uh, oh, qualities, quantities, um, similar to, like, recent releases, Tumblestone, Shovel Knight, uh, well, Shovel Knight's not recent, recent, but it's recent enough, um, Guiana Sisters, Director's Cut, stuff like that, that's, that all has had, uh, some, uh, recent, okay, poor man's up, Bobo. And, um, th those have all had, uh, some, uh, recent physical releases, obviously. But, um, well, uh, Vampire Mike's right about Tumblestone. It's not, it's not the world's best game, that's for sure. It's not a bad puzzle game, either. It's, oh, no, 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 get... Oh, I did that all wrong. Um, but it's it's nothing special either. That that's what really hits me about it is it it really is that kind of game. Like I I've, I've been asked in person like how could you pay this much for Doctor Mario or Tetris and Doctor Mario or Doctor Mario sixty four or Dr. Mario on Game Boy, or whatever. And, um... It's... Like, those are, like, really, really polished games. Tumblestone is, is a good puzzle game, but it, it, it lacks that polish that the, the professional gamers... Or, professional gamers... Professional uh, puzzle games have. Um... You know, by that rationale, how much is... Ubisoft's Tetris Ultimate worth? Well, in my opinion, um, five dollars. And that's simply, it's not an insult to the developers, it's not an insult to Ubisoft, it's not an insult to Paginoff, um, or anything like that. It's just, that's what it is. While Tengen Tetris 
and uh, Nintendo Tetris, even Tetris, Dr. Mario and Tetris, or Tetris and Dr. Mario, um, the next Tetris, all of these, well, they're anywhere from, you know, 10 to 50 bucks, depending, and, um, how much would I pay for, like, Tetris Worlds? I have, like, Tetris Worlds on every system it came out in for some dumb reason. Including Game Boy Advance. And, um, I, I don't know. I, I would have to say, I think, like, Tetris Worlds on Game Boy Advance, that, that, that's a $2 purchase, in my opinion. I'm going on quality again, not rarity of cartridge. I'm not a collector. There's this... Some games that just ain't worth the price. So, um, I paid 60 bucks for this to download. And uh, I bought this back when... Um, I think I can say this. I don't, I, don't have, I don't think I have an NDA in this regard. Um, I believe I bought this game... Um, when did I buy this? I believe I will. I I bought it either right after like one of my first games I downloaded for Wii U, or I bought this right after I got hired um, by Namco for a little bit. So, um, anyways, money wasn't a problem at that particular time to get it, and being that I do like Fist of the North Star, I'm trying to corral these guys all up. Alright. I think they're in control, but I, I'm the one in control. Okay. Alright, come here, you little moblins. Alright. That did absolutely nothing. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Um, the game was 60 bucks. There's a one-piece game that's still pretty expensive for the... Uh, Wii U, and um, that's all I, I can say is that if these are download only and they're charging that price, I think like digital games should be mandatorily 50% cheaper. Oh, alright, uh, I'm going to let it play out here to the next level goes, but this is essentially the end of the video. Um, graphically... Uh, other things, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it is all bad, but it, it's not great. Uh, so, again, I don't, I don't have anything against the game in particular. I think it's a, it's a really enjoyable game. Um, I, I, um, think that um, I personally believe, you know, the game is to be enjoyed by playing it once, twice, maybe maybe three times over in different difficulty levels. It goes the same with Guiana Sisters or Hyrule Warriors or uh, anything like that. Now, another thing is I recently saw a physical copy, but I haven't actually seen um, one since. Is there was some kind of Dynasty Warriors game on Wii U. I don't know if it's even available for download. But I'm willing to find out all this stuff, and, you know, I, I don't know, people have this impression, and I'm going based on precedent, I don't think Nintendo's going to cut off the Wii U, um, at least in eShop sales, and maybe um, game support for quite a while. They didn't do it to the original Wii for a while, they didn't do it to DSi for a while. Um, the original Wii, well... Online play is gone, and I hate the fact that they were actually going through GameSpy because that seems unnecessary to me. But anyways, um, it's gone. But I can still go to the Wii Shop channel and I can still enjoy all those titles. And it really depends on the title. If I download Alien Soldier for the Sega Genesis, you know, does or is it Alien Storm? I forgot what it's called. You know, is that really gonna matter? Is it really gonna matter that I've downloaded that because I'm not gonna have online play to begin with. On the other hand, there's Super Street Fighter 2 for the Genesis on the Wii Shop channel. 
and that did have online play. Now we can't play online. But it was one of the few um, virtual console titles that actually supported 16 by 9 screens <laughs> properly. So, whatever. But um, we wear titles that are still available, and whatever's still available is still available until Nintendo decides that they're going to get rid of that. So, this is the end of the video right here. Questions, comments, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Donate to my Patreon. I don't care anymore because I'm getting a job to go buy video games. So, if you have any of that stuff or whatever, and to uh, Vampire Mike, you know, um, if this is a consideration, uh, everyone has their sweet spots on pricing. Um, at the time I bought this, I paid I paid the $60 that was available on eShop. It might be 50 or even $40 now. Is it worth that much? Um, I'm going to say if you're not really into Dynasty Warriors slash Hyrule Warriors or uh, that kind of gameplay, then no, it is it is not worth it at all. Um, it's not worth more than 10 bucks if we're going to go that route. However, for someone like me who, who like, Fist of the North Star is one of my favorite uh, manga comics, one of my favorite anime, um... Uh, shows and movie series, um, and I even enjoyed the very bad, um, what was, what was it, um, okay, I'm stopping